Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and it is time for another use it or lose it. I am absolutely loving doing these videos. It's really helped me look at my um, makeup collection and beauty products and seeing what I actually really need to keep in my stash and what I can declutter. So if you're new to um, this series, basically what it is, is every two weeks I will pick a box from years gone by. So in February, I look at all my old February boxes and choose one to go back over and kind of like unbox it again if you like and um, look at all the products that were in that box have I used them or not if I haven't used them am I likely to use them or is it something that I can maybe just declutter hence the, the phrase use it or lose it so if there's something on there that I haven't used I'm going to give myself two weeks until the next video and then we go back and see if I've used it or not and that's kind of how it's going I have got a few videos already I think this is the third one we've done now I think this might be the third one i have created a playlist i'll pop a link down below to the playlist there do go pop over and see um drop dead fred jill go see jill's channel as well she's doing this too and yeah she's doing a great job and then um, yeah we're, we're not that great at using all the stuff i don't think so um last time i looked at a latest in beauty box from 2019 there are two items in there which are these, which I needed to see if I was going to use or not because they've been here a year and I haven't used them yet. So it was the Charles Worthington Moisture Seal. Um, I've virtually used this up actually. It's quite a nice um, leave-in conditioner. So yeah, you just pop it on, stick it through your ends and leave it. So there's a tiny bit left. So this is going to stay in my collection. I've almost done it. And yeah, I'll definitely finish that off. And then the other product which I was going to sort of use, which I hadn't used at all since my unboxing, was the Dr. Organic Body Lotion Tan Extender, which is in fact a fake tan. I still haven't used it. It has a 12 month shelf life on it once opened. So it has actually been opened a year, so I'm going to declutter it because I don't really fake tan. And I do have other fake tans in there. So yeah, I'm going to declutter. So let me just get rid of this and I'll be back. Um, oh, also, I am looking like this because I've just got out the bath. Um, my hair's still drying. It's very late at night. I need to film this video because I need to get it uploaded for, well, now, tomorrow, whilst I'm filming it. So, yeah, excuse all of this. Right, so the box I've chosen this time is actually another latest in beauty box just because there are like nine products in it. And it's actually from two years ago. So, this is from February. 2018 which is crazy i can't believe how long i've been getting these boxes so here it is it wasn't actually this box although it could have been no it wasn't actually one like this it was like an old um one of the cardboard ones that we had and you opened them up i think they were pink or turquoise inside do you remember them anyway in here i've written down all the things that were in the box and um, I'll do a little screenshot here of me unboxing it the first time around so you can watch my expressions and everything there. So having a look in here. So yeah, it's Ladies in Beauty, February 2018. So the first item was a Sanctuary Spa Salt Scrub. Um, I'd had quite a few of these actually. It was a repeat purchase in the box, a repeat choice. Um, now, I have actually used it, but whilst I was looking through my products, I did find another Sanctuary Spa Salt Scrub, which is different to the one I'd got. But I think what I will do, I've got this one out because it's obviously been in my collection quite a while. So yeah, I'm going to get this out in a bid to use this anyway. So it'll get it out of my collection. So it's a good way to get it. I know I like it. I know I'll use it. So I'm going to just pop that there. But we will get that used up, even though it's not the same product. And um, the next thing was a Dirty Works Coconut Firming Sugar Scrub. So I was obviously going through a bit of like a, a body scrub <laughs> time in my life and um, I actually did use that one up so that's a success there so I actually have had two out of two there um, and then the next thing that I chose was a, a sample size of the Murad AHA BHA cleanser so I have used that as well and then since then last year that was one of their hall of fame products and it was a full size um, and I just recently finished that a couple of months ago I think it was in my empties 
and um, yeah that took ages to get through so I've, I think I got through two minis and then one large one so I won't be needing that for quite a while but it is a really really good um, exfoliating cleanser and because it's got the um, the AHA and the BHA it's, um, it's really good for like brightening and smoothing your skin and making it look brighter, younger, fresher, that kind of thing. So yeah, it's a really good one if you've not tried one and you'd like to. Um, now the next thing was, this was a really interesting one actually, and it was a Dirty Works Skinny Dip Lip Gloss. And here it is here. And in my unboxing video, I actually make reference to somebody else that had unboxed it and thought there was a bit of a funny smell. Now, I can't remember who I was referring to, but part of me in my brain thinks it was maybe Little She Bear. Was it you that thought it smelled a bit funky? Um, at the time when I unboxed it, I didn't think it smelled. So bear in mind, this is two years old now. Um, and I had a bit of a sniff earlier on today. I've never used it. So this is why this is a really good series to do. And I've had a sniff. Oh, and honestly, it smells like paint. It really stinks. So I'm actually going to bin this. I'm going to declutter it because it just needs to go. It is absolutely humming. So um, maybe I just didn't have a nose tuned in. I bet it smelled like that before and I just didn't realise. But anyway, I'm glad I revisited it. I'm going to get that out of my collection. Um, now, the fifth item in that box was a Nude by Nature um, and it was the translucent ugh, translucent finishing powder. So this is it here. Um, I'm going to see if I use it or not. I haven't really used it and I'm not really a massive powder person. I do have another one in my collection as well. So I've got two. So I do feel I can definitely declutter these if I'm not going to use them. Um, they are a really lovely brand. They're an Australian brand and they are meant to be gorgeous. Um, I did check because some of them are foundation powders, but I have two translucent finishing powders. So they're definitely the same. So I'm going to see if I can use that in the next couple of weeks. I'll pop it in with my shop, my stash, and then just pop it with a selection. I don't think I chose a powder this week anyway, so that's actually quite handy. I can just slip that in. Um, next thing was a Nude by Nature highlight stick. And really interestingly, this has just come out of my shop my stash from last week. I've just uploaded my newest video where I discussed this. Um, so it is something I've tried. A little bit and actually it was quite nice so you can see there it's just like a bronze highlighty stick but um is it a highlight or bronzer I'm not sure but what I thought it'd be nice for is when you've got a tan and just put it on your high points so I am keeping this back in my collection and I will get it back out in the summer um, I need to make a real conscious effort to come back to this and revisit it because if I don't use it this summer I think this is definitely something that I can declutter but because it's just been in my recent um, shop my stash and I thought I'd keep it before I realised I was going to choose it for this let's just leave it in my collection for now um, and then even stranger is the next item is another item that was in shop my stash this week how weird I actually have decluttered this um, it was the Speedy Blush by Collection. And it's just a like a cream blusher sort of stick. And actually, it wasn't an awful colour or anything. It's just that I don't use cream blushes, really. So I am decluttering it. So that's saving me the effort of trying that one. Um, then number eight was the Be Good. Um, it was a, a plump and firm moisturiser. I've used that up. It's like... <laughs> Wow, I'm doing really, really well. So I have used that up. That was a, um, a repeat order. I've had that a couple of times before and I really liked it. And in my video, I said that I was going to buy it full size. Um, I didn't buy a full size of it because good grief, I have so many moisturisers that I just honestly, I don't think I'll ever have to buy anything until I die, But um, which is why I'm doing this and shot moustache. So it was a nice moisturiser, but... I, you know, um, I'm not, I haven't rebought it. And then the last item in this box was the Be Good. It was the Hydrate and Smooth Serum. And I've still got it here and I haven't used it. But um, I'm kind of thinking that because... Has it, have I opened it? Oh, I have opened it. Oh, oh it's just all splodged all over. Um, I'm just kind of thinking that because it's like two years old... And um, it's been open that long. I should probably get rid of it. 
it, it doesn't smell great either actually so i'm actually going to bin that as well um it just smells i think they start to sort of go a bit of a chemical sort of fragrance to them um now in this box there were two freebies um, and there was a tea bag which was the we are tea alert get going with jinko and ginseng i've still got the tea bag i've never used it um i don't know if these have um used by dates on but i'm kind of thinking that i haven't used it in two years so i'm probably not going to use it um i think i'm going to just declutter that and then there was another freebie so they were being very kind to us that month with all these freebies and actually it was a pretty athletic recovery boost cell repair serum and it was a little sachet so i think what i will do this is unopened i haven't used it and i'm sure i'd had another one of these from another box and i quite liked it so i think what i'll do i'll pop this into my skincare and i'll aim to get this used up before my next unboxing in two weeks so those are all the products from my box so let's just have a little run through and a little recap again just to make sure so yeah the first item was the sanctuary spa salt scrub which i have used but i have found another and i want to just get that used so we're going to try and put that to be used by next two weeks the second item was the sugar scrub which i'd used by dirty works then there's the murad cleanser which i'd also used up so this is really really good um then there was the skinny dip lip gloss which i am decluttering because it stinks um we've got the finishing powder by new by nature which i need to try so that's two items i need to use up um the new by nature highlight stick which i'm keeping and popping in my collection because i know that i've been using that or i will use it the blusher which is going to go um I finished the moisturiser by Be Good, but there was a Be Good serum which I haven't used and I'm decluttering because it stinks. And then the tea bag which I'm decluttering and the serum which I'm going to use up. So I've got this, this and this. Ooh. So I have these three things which I need to use up or at least try and see if I'm going to use it or lose it before my next video for this series so yeah that is it i will upload my next video in two weeks i'm probably going to stay um off latest in beauty because that's two latest in beauty ones i've had so if you've got a favorite box where will we be in two weeks we'll still be in february yes so i'll pop a poll up i think this time um for what we can have but i think there'll be things like glossy box you can choose from there'll be birch box There'll be a Love Lula, vegan kind, um, look fantastic. There'll be Look Incredible, standard Look Incredible Deluxe, um, just off the top of my head. So if there's any of those that you fancy, pop them down below in the comments. As I say, I'll try and pop up a poll, but I think it only lets me put five things on the poll. So it's a bit restrictive, really. So feel free just to, to comment down below which sort of box you would like me to see next time. And yeah, that's it. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you're enjoying this as well. And I hope it's reminding you of products that you might have also got in your boxes in the past. And so, yeah, if you've got some of these things, go and have a look, go dig them out and see if you've used them or not. And if you haven't used them, just have a sniff, make sure they're okay. And if they are okay, get using them up because you've had them for two years. <laughs> right then, so that's it. Thanks a lot, guys. See you later. Bye.